Wind Gap. There was a murder there. Another one's missing now. Get me a story. Sharp Objects. HBO's latest psychological thriller is based on Gone Girl author Gillian Flynn's debut novel with the same name. What kind of person does that? The eight-episode miniseries focuses on an emotionally troubled journalist returning to her hometown to cover the violent murder of two young girls. You're my daughter. The crew have recently premiered the show and teased the audience with the eerie plot. It is dramatic, gothic, uh, murder mystery. It's, it's every great genre you crave mixed into one. What if after you die, part of you goes to heaven, part of you stays here? Just to see how things turn out. Actor Amy Adams plays the protagonist, and as her character tries to solve the mystery, she has to confront her own demons. I can tell you hate this place like me. Camille is very different than any other role I've played. She goes to a darker place. She's also very internal in her pain. She doesn't sort of, all the pain that she executes is on herself. So she's carrying around a lot of darkness inside of her. She has a lot of vices and she doesn't hide them well. And what I do love about her though is that she's resilient. She keeps trying even though uh, it might seem as though she shouldn't at times or she feels she shouldn't. Um, so I loved that about her and I really identified with that. Even though the first episode has just come in, talks of a possible second series have already started. Yeah, I mean, what I always say is, you know, my characters have always gone on in my head. I mean, they always do. Every single one of my characters, I know what they do. And, I, you know, they all have rich, full lives that go on way past the books. So for, for me, you know, Wind Gap is its own very much well-working, well-oiled city that continues going on, yeah. Mom says I need to be careful around you. Not true. Are you dangerous? To tell us why Sharp Objects has attracted so much attention and possibly be back for a second season, I'm joined from Los Angeles by Jennifer Moss, a TV reporter for, for The Wrap. Thank you so much for being with us today, Jennifer. It's good to see you again. Now, we got the director of Big Little Lies, uh, the amazing Amy Adams as the lead character and the producer of Get Out. It seems like they really wanted to make the best uh, TV crime series out there. Yeah, I mean, they put a lot of time and effort into Sharp Objects. Uh, they have Gillian Flynn, the author herself, is heavily involved in it, wrote a lot of the script. Um, Marty Noxon also is a very big uh, producer. Um, Girlfriend's Guide to Divorce, she's currently doing Dietland on AMC. And then, yes, you have Bloomhouse TV, uh, Get Out, and you have Jean-Marc Vallier, who helmed the first season of Big Little Lies, is not doing the second, but was doing this. Um, that's how much they wanted to put into this. So yeah, they they got an A-list movie star to come uh, do this for TV and they, they went all out with it, yeah. Well, Sharp Objects is based on a murder case, but uh, Camille Preaker is the real mystery, isn't she? Yeah, I mean, uh, if you read the book, I won't spoil the book for anyone, but yeah, uh, the book itself follows Camille while she's reporting, and that's what the season's going to follow, um, the story of these two girls uh, who were murdered, and we wonder why, but more of it ends up focusing on Camille and her relationship with her family and the people she knew growing up and this small town that she left, and we're not entirely sure uh, exactly what happened. We get flashbacks, and we're already starting to get those after the premiere, um, but yeah, it slowly becomes more about Camille and how this is affecting her and why. Uh, now, Gillian Flynn's book, Gone Girl, is one of my all-time uh, favorite true crime books out there. Why do you think people, including myself, are so obsessed uh, with finding out about uh, the stories behind the murders of uh, people, especially girls? Uh, I don't know. Um, I feel like that's something you might have to talk to a psychologist about. Uh, but I can say just because we continue to see it year after year and season after season that they pick up true crime stories and that they do well. And this one is a fictional one. It's not um, a real true crime story, but it's it's played out in that way where it's very much about that and that people in the book uh, are very much obsessed with it the same way you'd be with anything you saw on TV like that and a crime that we all know and have followed for years. They go on for years and years, like OJ comes back around again and JonBenet Ramsey always comes back around again. So I don't know, <laughs> but they work. 
All right, now Sharp Objects does air uh, on Sunday nights on HBO in the United States. Uh, Jennifer, thank you so much for being with us today on Showcase. Thank you for having me.